um, should I look at anything like no, you should look, uh, at my screen? Yeah, at your screen or you can look at me, it's fine. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is Rigo Gallardo. I am from Guadalajara, in, that's in Jalisco, Mexico. And I'm a music producer and visual artist uh, based in Prague, Czech Republic, since about two years. I started making music when I was around 17. I'm 24 now. And I started through the... Um, well, I started getting into electronic music because I started going to rave back in Mexico. I started going to these raves and I, I realized that like, okay, this is really something like a channel for me to uh, potentially express a lot of things that I just didn't know what to do with because back back then I was really into photography and I was thinking like ah maybe I want to be like a, like a photojournalist or something but you know things happened um, I sort of started looking at the world in in a less like simple way I guess and I started to feel like my my impulses were going into more abstract stuff and electronic music just like fell into my lap like that you know, you know through history electronic music has evolved in many interesting ways and has allowed for a lot of people who perhaps didn't have access to um, traditional music making to develop new styles and develop new forms of expression that are very very interesting and very enjoyable and I don't know I think it's something to be celebrated and it's partly the reason why I, why I'm doing this as well you know because I feel somewhat identified with that Talking about that, when I first started going to these parties and started getting into this whole thing, I didn't receive as much support as my family because obviously these are like drug-ridden environments in uh, many cases and back in Mexico, like obviously that's a kind of a problem no, that we have had and there's a lot of situations that are like encountered in that. It's not like in Europe where, you know, or Western Europe at least, that, that it's kind of like relaxed and, and even though people like consume drugs like maniacs here as well, there is not that much that element of, um, of the violence and all that. And I do think that it's a little bit more hardcore back home in terms of the stuff that people use and the whole thing around it, like, you know, there are efforts being made for that to be turned into something a little bit less grim i guess and i think they're those efforts are being successful but when i was there it was still pretty i mean it could go either way i moved here and i moved here with a lot of mental noise and and i wasn't doing well and i was um, sort of abusing substances and everything so the music making being like a gateway to express all of these feelings and everything was very much welcomed by by my immediate environment, that being my family. And uh, once I met people here or in, in Holland that were also into that and were making music themselves, I started learning and I don't know, I just kind of created a little community for myself. It's, it's just easier here, you know? It's easier to live, it's easier to, to not start to death, it's easier to, I don't know, have a little bit more comfort than, and safety, you know, like 
I guess it's less stressful to live here where there is no like um, imminent dangers on the street for you or your loved ones as much or as prevalent as there are back home. Um, so yeah, I guess I guess it is like a safer environment and easier environment, but at the same time it's a bit strange, no? Sometimes like to to think like oh I get to do this, you know, and and I get to do this for the sole reason that. I was born from from a white woman, <laughs> and like I don't know, it's it's a pretty, I don't know, it's it's a difficult thing to think about sometimes because you get all these privileges and all of this, um, all these opportunities that a lot of people don't don't get, and you know you try to use them for the best and and use this privilege to try to open spaces here and try to open opportunities for people who are not born with these things, you know, as I was, which was, I guess, like, a, I don't know, an arbitrary thing in life. Um, so that's also one of the things that I've been trying to do ever since I started learning how to, like, make events and, you know, start organizing stuff is to bring people from from Mexico or, or people that are already here to give them a space to play music and give them a space to perform their art and everything. And now that I work in, in this venue in Punctum, uh, here in Prague, I have the opportunity to do that. And it's a venue that has a history of uh, supporting underground uh, and experimental music. And, you know, it's I'm trying to do as much as I can to, to take, that, like, uh, take advantage of that opportunity. Um, to to have more people profit from it, yeah. study fine arts um, and it's kind of a general approach to art making it's not one thing in speci like, uh, specific but I am always considering the like the possibilities of incorporating sound into that and not only just as music you know I feel like um, sound in general doesn't necessarily need to be separated into into music or not music um, and there are many instances where you can think about sound um, in a more like holistic way. Uh, I think a lot of things benefit from from the presence of sound. There is a lot of emotion that can that can be like communicated and and uh, intercepted just by understanding and interpreting like frequencies of sound. And once I started thinking about it that way. 
music, the term music started becoming a little bit more blurred with what just sound or noise can be. So I don't know if I'm if I'm playing something like uh, like this. It was Apex Twin that said at some point that like when he's talking about electronic music with um, with his friends or whatever, like they can't really talk about the music because there's not really that much to say, you know, it's like abstract in nature and I feel like the experience of the music is also something that is kind of difficult to talk about. I grew up with my dad listening to Cuban music, to um, Argentinian music, to regional Mexican music and also Brazilian music a lot. So I always had that very strong like Latin American um, 20th century music in my in my life. So that and just I guess having the cultural baggage I have from from Mexico and it's not only its music but just uh, the rest of how of, of the culture it's kind of like a mixed bag of all of these experiences and that defines how i've been making music so far <laughs> 